So one of our viewers asked if the uh, Hornady SST would be good for hunting. So we got our SKS here. We're using iron sights, but uh, we're gonna try to push it out and uh, see if we can hit some of these rocks out here. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in that in for you. We're gonna go for that big rock group there. I'm gonna go for this big one here on the left. And let's see, uh, let's see if we can nail a few of those. All right, here we go. Sounded like a hit. Oh yeah, right on target. See oh, that? Yeah. Yeah, I saw. oh nice. Yeah, I have my sights set to zero. I'm just aiming right at the rock. Damn. What's that? That's like 300 yeah. meters. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're actually going to be doing a user requested test. Here we have the 762 by 39 millimeter 123 grain SST. Now, in case you didn't know, SST stands for Super Shock Tip. So let's take a look at these rounds here. Uh, one of our viewers actually requested this video because he wants to know if he can hunt small game with his SKS. So here we have the SST. This is the uh, famous tip here, the Palmer tip, and uh, the core and jacket are actually bonded together for controlled expansion and not necessarily fragmentation. The projectile has a ballistic coefficient of, I believe, 0 0.295, which isn't that high, but uh, it's enough to get the job done if you're hunting within 500 meters. Um, so it's a steel case, as you can tell, and it's actually Berdan primed. So these are really non-reloadable, uh, but that helps keep the MSRP low. I think I paid 28 bucks for this box of 50 here. So it's actually really good, cheap hunting ammunition. All right guys, so we're taking a look at the Hornady SST in 7.62 by 39 millimeter. So the round hit, it was a little bit high and just for reference, we're looking at it from the top down. And at the quarter inch mark, we start to see expansion. Uh, and at that three inch mark, we see maximum expansion with a permanent cavity of 1.12 inches in diameter. And that permanent cavity reaches from the three inch mark to the 10 inch mark. And that's something really special. We don't really see that quite as often as I'd like to. Um, and another cool thing that you can see is actually the uh, twist rate of the barrel. So in this first 10 inches, the bullet completed one full turn. And that's something you can only see with controlled expansion. Usually with fragmentation, you'd see fragments all over the place and just a nice giant temporary or permanent cavity. But with this, we can actually see the bullet twisting inside the ballistics gelatin. Now, obviously I would recommend that as a method to uh, see what your twist rate or your barrel is. You can just you know look on the barrel, but it is kind of cool to be able to see that. And that gives us a nice good uh, example of how fast the bullet was traveling because here from the 10 inch to the 14 inch mark, uh, we can see that it completed one full turn. So as it entered the gel, it did one full turn in 10 inches and then it completed one full turn in only four inches, which means the bullet was slowing down um, in this direction faster than it was slowing down its twist rate. Now from the 14 inch on, we don't see a whole lot of uh, permanent damage there. Uh, the bullet did pass all the way through the block, but it doesn't seem to have done much after that 14 inch mark. So Hornady advertises this round as a hunting round for varmint and small game. Now, um, I was a little skeptical about using this caliber for small game, but uh, as you can see here, it didn't dump all of its energy right away like most varmint ammunition does, and so it wouldn't really leave you with a, a bad flesh wound. This would be able to penetrate all the way to your vital organs and uh, put the animal down quickly. So, you know, if an SKS is all you got, and that's what one of our viewers asked us about, um, then you could use this round um, to hunt some, some small game. Uh, let me know what you guys think below. Uh, do you guys like this ammo? And uh, would you recommend it for hunting? Thanks for watching, guys, and have a nice day.